Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Iti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirviseshya Shunyavadi Paschatyadhi Shatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hatvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadhiko Bhakta Vrinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hatvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadikor Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 
हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी 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 गोपी जान बाला भागिरी पर धारी गोपी जान बाला भागिरी पर धारी गोपी जान बाला भागिरी पर धारी गोपी जान बाला भा धारी यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन 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 यमुना तेरा वन चारी यमुना तीरा यमुन थेरा वन चारी यमुन थेरा वन चारी 
जय हराध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी चन बल भिर पर झारी गोपी जन बल भिरी पर झारी गोपी चन बल भिरी पर झारी गोपी जन बल भिरी पर यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन तेरा वन चाह यमुना तेरा वन चारी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नेता गोर हरि भो हरि भो हरि भो नेता गोर हरि भो नेता गोर हरि भो हरि भो हरि भो जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद गोर प्रेम नंदे ओम नमो भागवते वसुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवा नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम दैवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधेरय नृष्टु वभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवाया 
भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नष्ट की Do we have translate? It's going on. So I've been asked to speak, as you heard, on a topic which is something all of us have to confront one day, sooner, sooner or later. We all have to confront that fatal moment when we leave the body. Right? We call it death, but. For the soul, there's no death. What is death is simply the change of the body. So we should understand that moment, that crucial moment, as something like a final exam. Just like, you know, maybe you you remember when you studied, or maybe you're studying even now. And you have to prepare for the examination which comes, the final exams. You know, students sometimes tell me they've got final exams coming up. So it's a big moment, crucial moment, the final exam. You know, if you pass the exam, wonderful. You go on to new heights. Maybe you go out and find a job. Start working, or maybe you go on to further studies. Anyway, the final exam comes at the moment when we have to leave this body. There's a famous verse by Maharaj Kulu Shekar. Those of you who are from South India, you will know this verse, right? Krishna Twadiya Padapankaja Panjarantam Adhyayva Me Vishatu Manasa Raja Hamsa Prana Prayana Kapaye Tapavata Pitaye Kantavaro Dhanavido Smaranam Kutaste Maharaj Kulashekar, one of the Alwars, the famous Alwars from South India. They, he describes, he said, let me die now while I can still chant the holy name of the Lord. If I have to wait for my death to come naturally, then at that moment my throat may be choked up with mucus and I won't be able to feelingly chant the holy name. So he prays, let me die now while I can still chant. So we can understand something of Maharaj Kulushekar's mood. He was a very enthusiastic devotee. He, he wanted so much to be engaged in the service of the Lord. Actually, he was a devotee of Lord Ramachandra, and he was constantly hearing Ramayana. And sometimes when he would hear the pastimes of Lord Rama fighting against Ravan, he becomes so enthused, he said, let's go, we have to go and help Lord Ram. Call the army, get the army out. Let's all go and help Lord Ram fight the battle. We'll all go to Lanka and help the Lord. And he's the king. Everyone had to follow his instructions. So they thought, what to do? So some of the officers who were a bit intelligent, they thought, I know, we'll, we'll, I know how to do it, we'll make a plan. And as they were all marching towards Lanka, these other two officers, they came and they appeared and said, it's all right, we just came from Lanka, the battle's already over, Lord Rama already won, he's already defeated Ravan and he's got back Mother Sita. And when... Kula Shekhar heard the news, he thought, oh, oh, all right, let's go back. And they turned around and went back to the... This he prayed like that, that wonderful prayer, that let me die now while I can still chant the holy name. 
And we see in the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna's mood in fighting the battle of Kurukshetra with Lord Krishna. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, they, it said, let, let me die on the battlefield because that is a glorious death. For a Kshatriya, he wants that honor to die on the battlefield. Tamal Krishna Goswami was serving Srila Prabhupada in his final days when Srila Prabhupada's health was very poor. And at, at one point he told Srila Prabhupada, he said, I want to take you to the West, Srila Prabhupada, and you can, you know, because that was the field of your battle. You were fighting the most there against Maya and the material energy in the Western countries to bring Lord Chaitanya's mission into these Western countries. And, and he was telling Prabhupada, if you go there and if you leave the body, it will be glorious because to die on the battlefield is glorious. And Prabhupada said to him, he said, yes, I want that. I want to die on the battlefield. So that was Srila Prabhupada's mood. The battlefield, of course, meant preaching Krishna consciousness, delivering the message of the holy name and Lord Chaitanya to the faithless, to the fallen souls, to the impersonalists and the voidists. So this is a glorious way to dedicate our life to give your life fully for the service of the Lord, that you can leave the body on the battlefield, preaching. As we just heard, this wonderful devotee, Chittahari Prabhu, he had the opportunity that just a few hours before he departed from the world, he cooked prasadam for something like a thousand devotees. So that was also leaving the body on the battlefield, not going away from devotional service. We want to understand how to prepare ourselves for that moment. As we heard Bhakti Purushottam Swami was saying, you know, some people talk about the art of living, but in Krishna consciousness, we are more talking about the art of dying. And so <laughs> today, we're speaking about the glorious death, the glorious departure. How do we prepare ourselves for that? Of course, we have to practice. It's going to take some practice. It's not an easy thing because generally, at the moment of leaving the body, people will be fearful, will be worried. Oh, what will happen? All of our attachments will be more pronounced at that moment. We'll be thinking more about maybe you have a bank balance, or you'll be thinking about your loved ones, the family members. You'll be thinking about the things which are very dear to you. And we know from Srimad Bhagavatam, Bharat Maharaj is the classic example. He got in trouble. That Bharat Maharaj, although he had renounced so much opulence and so much fame and position to go and renounce everything to go up to the Himalayas, and to re reside at the banks of the Ganduki, that somehow he got attached to a deer, to a little animal. And it happened that at the moment of his death, he thought of that deer, and he had to take another birth. He had to come in next life as a deer. So it was a, a great... Uh, disappointment because he was trying so much to liberate himself from the material world but he'd made he'd somehow he'd fallen down 
and he had become attached to an animal, and he had to become an animal in his next life. So that is not glorious. That is a failure. If you read our book, Coming Back, there's a inter it's just a little pocket book, Coming Back, The Science of Reincarnation. So the last chapter in the book is entitled, Don't Come Back. Right? If we come back again in this world, it means we were not fully successful. Just like if you have a final exam and you fail the exam, you have to come back and do the whole course again. You have to go th waste so much time, more money, more tension, again the same prop, the same study, the same material and prepare again for the exam. So, we want to be sure that now we have this human body. We're so fortunate that by the grace of the Lord, He has given us this human body. The human body is superior to the animal, superior to the trees and the plants and all these other lower living entities. It's in the human form of life that we have the opportunity to achieve success. And that success is coming, it, it should come at the moment when we have to leave this body, when we have to depart from this body. Lord Krishna describes in the Bhagavad Gita, in the eighth chapter, yam yam vapismarambhavam chajiti anti kalevaram tam tam ivaitakuntiya Sadatad bhava bhavitaha. That whatever we remember at the end of life, then that state we will attain in the next life. And what we remember at the end of life is the things which we've focused our attention on throughout our life. Sometimes foolish people think, well, some foolish people they hear the pastime of Ajamila from the sixth canto. And we hear about Ajamila, how at the moment of death he chanted Narayan. And because he chanted Narayan, the Vishnu Dudas came and saved him from Yamaduts. The Yamaduts were coming because Ajamila had been very sinful. But at the end of his life, he had chant when he saw the Yamaduts, then he called for his son. And his son was named Narayan. And when he called Narayan, Vishnu Dudas came. And the Vishnu Dudas would not allow the Yamaduts to take Yamaraj away. So when people, common people hear this, they think, oh, I will also wait till the end of life. Then I will chant. But... If we have not practiced throughout the life, then we won't be able to remember the Lord's name at the end of life. Because whatever we're absorbing our mind in, in the course of our years here in this material body, that will become pronounced at the moment of death. And that will take us to our next body the next birth again in the material world. However, after mentioning this verse in Bhagavad Gita, the next sloka says, Antakale chamame vasmaran mukva kalevaram. Whatever, we, if, if at the end of life, if we can remember the Lord, then we will be able to go to him. But we have to practice remembering him. And this is what we're doing when we come together, when we have our association. We're practicing hearing and chanting about the Supreme Lord. And we hope that you will practice not just only every Sunday, but we hope you'll practice every day. And we, we encourage all the devotees to make it a regular program. Every day. And 
if possible, at every moment we want to remember the Lord. How to do that? Well, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has been very kind. He has given us the holy name to chant. We can chant. You may chant, on, on, you can chant aloud, or you may chant softly if it's not convenient. Loud chanting is very good, more powerful. The louder you chant, more powerful it becomes. But if due to certain circumstances, you're not able to chant loudly, then chant softly. And if you're not able to chant even softly, then try to chant in your mind. But that is more difficult. To chant in the mind is much more difficult. Why? Because our mind is very unsteady. We know from the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna was hearing Lord Krishna describe about meditation and focusing the mind. And Arjuna said, oh, he said, oh, I cannot do that. My mind is more restless than the wind. Lord Krishna said, yes, I know it's difficult. He, mm, mm. Mama, Lord Krishna said, I know it's difficult, but if you practice by constant practice and detachment, then you can do it. So two things were mentioned by Lord Krishna in that respect. Abhyasena tu kontaya vairagena chagriyate. We have to practice. Therefore, devotees are encouraged to practice chanting the Maha Mantra. And we chant, of course, if you're initiated, we make a vow to chant every day, minimum 16 rounds. And there are many devotees who chant much more. So, more chanting helps to make it easier to remember the Lord, because the Lord comes in His holy name. And chanting is the way in which we can attract the attention of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna said, Naham tishtani vaikunte yoginam ridayeshuva tatra tishtani narada yatra gayanti madbhakta. Lord is saying, I am not in the Vaikuntha in the spiritual world. And I am not in the hearts of the yogis who meditate on me. But I am wherever my devotees like Narada are chanting my holy name. So the Lord is showing how dear to him are those devotees who are chanting the holy name. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Kirtaniya Sadahari, always chant the holy name. So this is very important for us. Somehow find the way in which you can chant to remember Krishna. That will make our life successful. For the devotee, uh, Jiva Goswami says, Jivava Maravasadu. He said, for the one who is a devotee, a sadhu, it doesn't matter if he lives or if he dies. Because in his life, he's serving the Lord, he's dedicated to the service of the Lord, he's chanting the holy name, he's doing whatever service he can. And if he dies, he will go on and serve the Lord in some other place. So it doesn't make any difference if he lives or if he dies. It's just changing the body. But Jiva Goswami said, Vyadi ma jiva ma mara. He said, if you are the butcher or the hunter, don't live and don't die. Don't live because you're living in hell. Every day killing, cutting, all these things. Don't live and don't die because when you die you go to hell also. So 
the Jiva Goswami is explaining to us the importance of cultivating our devotion for Lord Krishna. This devotion is up to all of us as individuals to cultivate our consciousness of Krishna. It's not just, oh, get initiation, have a spiritual master. It's up to each of us to practice the process, to practice hearing about Krishna. Nowadays, hearing is made very easy for us. With the mobile networks, there are countless lectures, discourses in all the different languages you could desire. There's so much opportunity to hear about Lord Krishna and about his wonderful activities and his teaching, his philosophy. It's all there for us. We just have to be willing to hear. So hearing is the first step. We hear and then next comes chanting. We have to not just only hear, we have to also chant. Try to understand the process of Krishna consciousness. On one side, there are prohibitions, things you have not to do. And on the other side, there are regulations, things you must do. Just like in Astanga Yoga, the first two Angas of Astanga Yoga, Yama and Niyama. Pr regulations and prohibitions. So we also have like that in Krishna consciousness, in our Krishna conscious process. We have prohibitions. We say, Prabhupada said, no illicit sex, no gambling, no meat eating, no intoxication. And then Prabhupada adds, no nonsense. Right? It's all nonsense activities. These nonsense activities will bring you back in the material world. You have to come back again. Mm. This is the result of performing sinful activities. When we act against the scriptures, it creates reactions. And the reactions are bring a, it will bring us back to take again another material body. So no nonsense. But in order to make sure that we avoid all the nonsense, we have to have the activities which will keep us engaged, which will keep us absorbed, which will keep us away from the nonsense. We have to have the regulations. And that is chanting, hearing, reading the books, worshipping the Lord, doing some puja. You may not have deities, you may not have such an elaborate altar, but worship can be done. Even you can worship in your mind. There was the Shastra tell us about one Brahmana. He was worshipping in his mind every day. He was very poor. He had no paraphernalia to worship. But within his mind, he wanted to worship the Lord. So every day, he would, in his mind, he would meditate about going to the holy rivers, going to Ganga, and getting a big pot, a big loda full of water from the Ganga, then going to Yamuna and getting water from the Yamuna, then going to Godavari and the Kaveri and collecting water from all the different holy rivers. And then he would bathe the deity in his mind. And after he'd bathed the deity, then he would dress the deity with beautiful clothes. He had nothing, but within his mind, he was meditating, contemplating, dressing the deity. And then he would meditate on putting a beautiful flower garland and a crown. And then he would meditate on cooking a feast for the deity. And he would do this not just one day. He would do this every day 
For many, for years it went on. He was, every day, he was doing like, and it became such great pleasure for him, thinking about serving Krishna in this wonderful way. And he was cooking. And he had nothing to cook with, but within his mind he was meditating on cooking. And he was, one day he was cooking kheer, right? The sweet rice. And, of course, the, the kheer, it should not be too hot. You know, it should be cold. When I used to be, I used to be in the New York temple, and we used to have a very good Sunday feast there in the 1970s. Oh, we had so many people come. And they came because the prasadam was so good. And we would cook kheer. We would cook gallons of this kheer. We would cook it three days before Sunday. We would cook it on Thursday. We'd go in there, we'd have pots of cooking the sweet rice, you know, making sure it doesn't burn. And, and, and we'd cook it, and then we'd let it cool down, you know put it in the refrigerator or something, and it would get nice and cool. Then Sunday feast, we could distribute, you know, nice, hot, buttery halava and ice-cold sweet rice, you know. And people, wow, you know, they loved it. Ah, you interested? <laughs> Prasadam, very important. Our secret weapon in preaching Krishna consciousness. I was telling devotees here, very important. We had, I was just in Bahrain and we had wonderful programs there because the prasadam was so good. <laughs> when there's very good prasadam, then there'll be very good devotees, you know, <laughs> a lot of devotees. And so then the, the Brahmana was meditating on the sweet rice and he was thinking, I don't know if the sweet rice ready to offer yet. Maybe it's too hot. And he put his finger, because in, in Krishna consciousness, we don't taste. You know, we cook. And you're not supposed to taste. You're supposed to offer to Krishna first. And then you taste. But, you know, so he couldn't taste it. So what he did, put his finger in the sweet rice just to see if it was hot. And, and ah! He burned his finger and burned his... He was so surprised, he burned his finger. But why? Because he was... It was meditation on Krishna. It was real. It was happening. The Lord was watching and he was enjoying. And when he saw this Brahmana burn his finger, the Brahmana was surprised. He said, how I burn my finger? And Krishna was laughing. He brought him back to Godhead. He went back home, back to God, to cook for Krishna there. So, th this shows us, you can serve Krishna in the mind. You, no one can say, oh, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do any, I didn't have any paraphernalia. Doesn't matter, everyone has a mind. Just use our mind to remember Krishna, fix our mind on Krishna, and think how you can serve Krishna. In the Kali Yuga, it is said, if you think about doing good, even you didn't do it, if you just think about doing good, you get the benefit. In other ages, you have to do it to get the benefit. But in Kali Yuga, if you just think about doing good, you get the benefit. And if you think about doing something bad, you have to do it before you get the reaction. So Kali Yuga is very special, you know. You, you, if you just think about doing good, you can get the benefit. So chanting Hare Krishna is also very special in the Kali Yuga. Kaler dosha nidirajan astihe ko mahadguna kirtanad eva krishnasya mukta sangha samachara. The age of Kali is an ocean of faults. Dosha. Do you have any doshas in your chart? Just a few, right? <laughs> Not too many, we hope. 
and dosha is false. Arjuna said, because of my dosha, karpanya dosha, right? Arjuna, what was Arjuna's dosha? Kripana, miserly weakness. His dosha, that was his fault. So, age of Kali, ocean of dosha. Not dosa, but... <laughs> Those, those faults, a ocean of faults, many faults. So there are many faults. But there's one good thing, Kali Yuga, just by kirtan you can cross over that ocean of material existence. So this is so wonderful. Kirtan, we have to do kirtan more. Mm -hmm. If you chant more, then it it will give you the greatest spiritual progress. I'm always telling families, they have your family at home, do kirtan with your family. Get the family together to chant together. It's very wonderful to keep everyone engaged in kirtan. It helps us to remember Krishna. Remembrance of Krishna. We want to remember Krishna. You have to do these things. You have to chant the holy name. You have to do kirtan. You have to think how to worship Krishna. Lord Nityananda and Haridas were told by Lord Chaitanya. Right? Chaitanya Bhagavat says, Suno Suno Nityananda, Suno Haridas. Priti gari gari gya koro e bhiksha, bolo Krishna, bajo Krishna, koro Krishna shiksha. Lord Chaitanya gave very important instruction to Chaitanya, to Nityananda and Haridas. He said, I want you to go to every door, to every gully, every lane, knock on the door, then fall at the feet of the people and beg them, chant the name of Krishna. Worship Krishna. Read the books about Krishna. We are distributing so many books. We are distributing the holy name. We want people to become Krishna conscious. We have to go and remind them. We have to go and beg them. Please chant the holy name. Please worship Krishna. Please read the books about Krishna. Krishna, if you practice in this way, then certainly at the end of life you will be successful. There's no doubt. You don't have to worry. Sometimes people think, oh, I don't know if he could be thinking of Krishna when he left the body. You know, maybe somebody dies in a car crash or maybe somebody was unconscious in a coma. But for a devotee, it doesn't matter because the Puranas say one who is given their life for the service of the Lord, even if they're not able to remember the Lord at the end of life, the Lord will remember him. Because they dedicated their life regularly serving. So certainly the Lord remembers how much service this devotee has done. And certainly the Lord will not forget him and he will take him back to his abode. So that is, of course, that is the success of life, that you can go back to the Lord's abode. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants everyone to become Krishna conscious. He is Patita Pavan. He is delivering the fallen souls. And how is he doing it? Through Sankirtan, the Sankirtan Yagna. This is the process for the Kali Yuga. Everyone should take part in Sankirtan. And even if you're not able to join the Sankirtan, within your mind you should think about Sankirtan. You should hear, we have so many wonderful kirtaniers. We are seeing wonderful children in our Krishna consciousness movement lead wonderful kirtans. One of the devotees, 
I know, Vrinda, the little son is only five years old. He's already on YouTube leading Kirtan. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Some of the children, because they've been, the children born into the Krishna consciousness movement are not ordinary. Prabhupada taught us that very clearly. They are very special souls. They've taken birth in the family of devotees. And because they're born in the family of devotees, it means in their previous life they were already great souls. They were already advanced yogis. Lord Krishna describes in the Bhagavad Gita two kinds of situation. One person practiced for a little while but not yet perfect. So that person, next life, they would go to the higher planets, they would satisfy all their material desires, then they would come back and take birth in a wealthy or an aristocratic family where they again had the opportunity to continue their devotional service. But on the other hand, Somebody practiced yoga for a long time, but still not yet perfect. Somehow, some little problem somewhere, some little attachment, and that will bring that person back. He will take birth in the family of devotees. And then in the family of devotees, from their very birth, they have Krishna consciousness. Just like Srila Prabhupada said, he was born in the devotee family. As a child he was doing Rathiatra. As a child he was seeing his father worship deities of Krishna every day. As a child he was going to temple. And so he went to college, he studied Sanskrit. He already knew Bengali and Hindi and Sanskrit and English. He can preach to the whole world. And Prabhupada said, I was born, he was born in the devotee family. He said, my Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, also, he was born in the devotee family. He was the seminal son of the great Acharya Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And of course, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati preached Krishna consciousness. He made wonderful devotees like our own founder Acharya. So you can see that these souls who are born in devotee families, they're special souls. They have an opportunity that this will be their last birth in the material world. Actually, when the mother and father conceive a child, the devotee couple, they should think that this child, this will be their last birth in the world they will not have to take birth again. That is the mood in conceiving a child. And then when the child comes to the point of death, then the, it's not difficult for them to go back to Godhead. Just like Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj, of course, as a young boy, he did austerities and the Lord came to him and gave him blessings that he would enjoy a great kingdom. Then later on, Dhruva Maharaj, after he'd ruled the world for many years, he retired to Badarik Ashram. He retired there to prepare for his departure from the world. And when he was in Badarik Ashram, it happened, one day the airplane came from Vaikuntha. And the airplane came from Vaikuntha, he, he was about to get into the airplane and he remembered, what about my mother? I cannot go without my mother because she was the one who helped me in the beginning to, to become God conscious. So she should, and they said, don't worry, look over there, there's another airplane. Your mother is also going back to Godhead. And it, Dhruva Maharaj was getting in the airplane, death personified appeared before him. He simply stepped on the head of death personified and got into the airplane. For a devotee, there's no fear of death because the devotee is detached from the material body. 
Jivava Marava Sadhu. Doesn't matter, live or die. We serve Krishna here, we go on and serve Krishna some other place. This is Sanatana Dharma, the eternal religion. The religion of eternal loving service to the Supreme Lord. So we want to make our life in, in that way that we can also be successful. We know Tukaram, Tukaram also, great devotee, it happened. Aeroplane came from Vaikuntha to take him back to Godhead. He asked his wife, you want to come? She didn't want to go. <laughs> uh, Tukaram went on his own. <laughs> so, we hope you'll all be ready when you get the chance to get in that aeroplane, go back to Godhead. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Okay. Huh? Oh no, I'm okay. All right, Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Sure. Any questions? Hare Krishna, अगर किसी का कोई भी प्रश्न है, तो आप हिंदी में भी पूछ सकते हैं। Hare Krishna Maharaj, Namaste Pranam. Thank you for such a wonderful class, Maharaj. Maharaj, there's one devotee asking me that when we leave the body, does the soul still stays in that area for few days, or at the same moment he goes back? Yes, does the soul stay? Well, it will depend on the particular consciousness of the living entity. For the devotee, quite quickly they can leave the body and they can go off to some other place. For the devotee it will happen quickly. But for those who are very attached, they don't want to leave the body, they don't want to leave the home, they want to, <laughs> they're very attached. So even the ethereal body, the spirit body can remain there for some days. It can linger on due to the attachment to the material. So it would take longer. Of course, if the Yamadudas come, Yamadudas come, then they'll take the soul. They'll drag that soul out from the body quickly, you know, take him away. And they, it describes that Yamadudas, so we'll drag the soul, and, but we'll pass a big distance in a short time to take him to the court of Yamaraj. Hmm. So if the Yamadutes come, <laughs> quite quick. Be. Okay, Hare Krishna. Uh, Maharaj, uh, I would uh, want you to speak a few words on this particular off-quoted uh, poem. He reason ill who tells that Vaishnavas die. When thou art living still and sound, the Vaishnavas die to live, and living try to spread the holy name of the Lord. Any comments, any way to make it a little easier for people to understand, Maharaj? Yes. This is very well-known statement given to us by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. He's pointing out to us that actually Vaishnavas don't actually die. They're eternal spiritual beings. We're all eternal souls, of course, but especially the devotee, the Vaishnava, that they dedicate their life to the service of the holy name, regularly chanting the holy name. And when they give up one body, they'll go on to serve the Lord in some other way, continuing to chant the holy name. 
So Bhaktivinoda Thakur is describing like this that actually there's no question of death. It's, it's, a, it's wrong to say that a Vaishnava died because Vaishnava is a spirit soul. It's not the body. The body is just the covering of the soul. So he, he just gave up one body to take another body. So to think that a Vaishnava dies, it's not correct. We have to understand these, the, well, these things on the basis of scripture and be guided by the philo philosophical understanding. So, as I was saying, uh, Vaishnava is an eternal spiritual being and he has his relationship with the Lord through chanting the holy name. He's associating with the Lord. Bhaktivinoda Thakur said he's living still in sound. Means the chanting is it's eternal. It, it's not some temporary thing. The chanting is going on. Golokera Premadam Harinam Sankirtan. The holy name is descending from the spiritual world. So when the devotee chants the holy name, it's coming from the spiritual world. It's not any material sound vibration. So the, the, the Vaishnava, of course, to be a Vaishnava, of course, is not an easy thing. That is, Prabhupada used to always, always tell us, it's not such an easy thing to be Vaishnava. We're trying, we're practicing to become Vaishnavas. And Vaishnava means free from all material designations. All right. Devotional service means sarvu padi vinir muktam tat parad nirmala. So no upadis, upadis designations. We designate ourselves. We're thinking, I am the body. So we have to give up these designations. That is Vaishnava. Then we, when we have that proper mood, then we can chant the holy name. We chant the holy name. We die to live. The, the, the life, the real life is with the Lord in the spiritual world. The real life is not here in this world. This world is the place of birth and death. This is Mrityuloka, the planet of death. Our real home is in the spiritual world with the Supreme Lord. We want to go to Vaikuntha or Goloka and be there with the Lord. That is the real life. The real life is not here, this place. This is the place of misery. Of course, we try very hard to make it so wonderful you know, we try so much to comfort ourselves and to make our lives pleasant here. But this is not our home. We can never stay here. Our real life is there with the Lord. So the Vaishnava, he dies to live. He gives up this body here to go to the real life in the kingdom of God. Not to just rot here in this prison house of birth and death. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur is encouraging us to think in this way, that when a person does die, when they leave the body, as we all will, the saying goes, as sure as death, right? And Prabhupada said, the death rate is the same it's always been. Prabhupada said the death rate is 100%. Everyone, you know, we're all going to die. We have to give up the body. But we should die to live, to go to the real life, 
in the spiritual world to enter into the pastimes of Lord Krishna. That is our real business. And by chanting the holy name, we can qualify for that. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. I was just thinking, dying is just not 100%. People die so many times for nothing in this life. They are worried so much about death. They are constantly not in a philosophical way, cons you know, thinking that, yes, death is certain, so let me spend my time in Krishna's service. They keep dying for everything. And uh, so that's another problem. I um, also would request you to explain this one shloka, Maharaj. This one shloka is from Ishopanishad, Mantra 17. It's a very beautiful shloka that we generally chant when somebody dies. And uh, I just read the shloka for the benefit of Maharaj. Vayur Anilam Amritam. Can all of you repeat, please? Vayur Anilam Amritam. Atedam Basmantam Shariram. Atedam Basmantam Shariram. Om Kratosmara. Om Kratosmara. Kratamsmara. Kratamsmara. Kratosmara. Kratamsmara. 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 Let this temporary body be burnt to ashes and let the air of life be merged with the totality of air. Now, O oh my Lord, please remember all my sacrifices. And because you are the ultimate beneficiary, please remember all that I have done for you. Maharaj, any commentary on that, please? Thank you. <laughs> yes, well, this is, the devotee is naturally reflecting on his service to the Lord. At the end of life, we would like to think that we have done something for the Lord, that we have offered something, we have dedicated ourselves for his service. So, in preparation for leaving the world, then the devotee would think in this manner that, please remember all that I have done for you. We hope we've done something for the Lord. What can we do for the Lord, of course? What do we have to offer him? Whatever we do offer to the Lord, it's not really anything significant. Fruit and flowers are not really necessary. The Lord has God, goddesses of fortune there to serve Him. There are countless goddesses of fortune in the spiritual world. So Krishna is not greedy for our fruit and flowers. But what He does want is our devotion, our that is our real offering to Him, if we can offer that love and devotion to Him. And that love and devotion means also the mood of service. So to actually think like this at the end of life, this would be certainly a pious person. The devotee, the one who is maybe more advanced, he would think, Krishna, whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> this devotee, the, the prayer which is offered there in the Ishopanishad, there is, there's some more motivation there, you know. Remember all that I've done for you, please don't forget me. Yeah, yeah of course, Krishna is going to remember everything. This is Ishopanishad. Ishopanishad is the pray prayers by the living entity departing as you leave the body think remember all i have done for you but a devotee he wants to give everything for the lord without any expectation he's completely surrendered to the lord he will think whatever happens will happen i am in your hands whatever you want to do even you put me to hell, heaven or to hell, it's all the same. I just want to be engaged in your service wherever I go. So, there are different ways in which we can pray to the Lord. This, this kind of prayer is certainly more acceptable for common people who think like that. Remember all that I have done for you. We would like to think the Lord remembers us. 
So it's, an, it's encouraging for people to also think, I should do something before I leave the world. I better do something. I want to leave something. I want to have done something before I leave the body. We should think, I have to chant more. I have to try and distribute more books. Try to give more mercy to people. Try to somehow share Krishna consciousness with others. That is the greatest gift we can give others. To share Krishna consciousness. We want to give something to the Lord. We, the Lord wants our devotion. That is what he wants. But we give our love to so many other things. People love the dog. They love the cat. <laughs> we love the bank balance. We love the, mo the motorbike. We get caught in mundane things. We have to try to bring the consciousness to God. Krishna, we want to give to him. Otherwise you may end up like Bharat Maharaj and you waste another birth. It's not necessary. If we're very careful, we practice carefully, certainly Krishna will help us on the path back to Godhead. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, I am the swift deliverer from birth and death. It's not really by our own efforts, but it's by the grace of Krishna. Krishna comes, he picks us up out of that ocean of material existence and takes us back to his abode. Maybe you remember that illustration which is in the Bhagavad Gita. You can see there's a devotee in the ocean and he's, his hand is up, he's in the ocean and Lord, Gar Lord Garuda is coming with Lord Vishnu on his back. Lord Vishnu is coming to pick him out of that ocean. So that is actually how the Lord comes to save the souls from the material world. We're drowning in this ocean of material existence. But Lord Vishnu can come, Lord Krishna can come. They can come and take us out of this material world and take us back to Godhead. So, we, we want to depend on the Lord like that. Whatever you want, Krishna, I am surrendered to you. Right? Narayana parasarve nakutas chanya vibhyate swarga apavarga narakesh vapito yata darshana For one who is a devotee, there's no difference between heaven and hell and liberation because everywhere there is only service. He's going to do service for the Lord wherever he goes. You may go to hell, hell becomes heaven if you're Krishna conscious. But if you go to heaven and you're not Krishna conscious, it will be like hell. <laughs> So if you come to Dubai only to collect money, it's hellish. If you come to Dubai to be part of the congregation, it becomes Brindavan. So uh, thank you very, very much Maharaj for your wonderful class.